This is part 33 of Bootstrap Tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss the Bootstrap labels and badges. First, let's discuss the Bootstrap label component. This component is useful for providing important additional information. For example, we can use this component to let the user know if a software training course is beginner, intermediate or advanced level or if it's a new course. Let's see how to display these labels next to the course names. Let's flip to Visual Studio. What we have here at the moment is a well and inside this well we have the different courses offered by Prajim Technologies. So if we view this HTML in the browser, this is how it looks at the moment. Remember, in our previous video, we have customized the background color of the well component and that's the reason why we see a different background color here. Now what we want to do is display these labels next to the course names here. To do that, we'll have to create a label. To create a label, all we need to do is create a span element and the class of this is going to be label. I'm also going to use another class and that is label default which is going to apply the default contextual style. Let's say this is a beginner course. Let's do the same thing with the other courses that we have. So I'm going to copy this span element and paste it next to the other course names that we have. So let's say ADO.NET is intermediate course and WCF is advanced course and let's say Bootstrap is a new course. Let's save our changes. Now at this point when we reload this page notice we get the labels next to the course names as expected. At the moment notice we are using label default class which is going to apply the default contextual styles. We can also use the other contextual classes that are available. So we have got primary success info warning and danger. Different contextual classes are going to give us different styles. So let's apply these different contextual state classes that we have here. So I'm going to use here label primary, label info, success, warning and let's use danger here. Let's save our changes and when we reload our page notice we get different contextual styles. Also keep in mind at the moment we are only using the H4 heading element here. We can use any of the heading elements H1 through H6. Let's also change these elements and see what we get. So the title here is going to be H1 and let's change this to H2 and this one to H3 this one to H4 and let's change this one to H5 and finally this one to H6. Let's save our changes and when we reload our page notice the labels adapts depending on the heading size. Next, let's discuss the Bootstrap Badge component. This component is useful for providing important notifications like number of new messages in your email inbox. Let's see how to display these badges that we see here. Let's flip to Visual Studio. I'm going to replace this HTML with another piece of HTML. Here we have got four anchor elements. Let's reload this page. Notice we see the four anchor elements here. Now these are the folders that we see in any typical email client. Now what we want to do is display these badges next to these folders. For that we are going to create a badge. To create a badge all we need to do is create a span element with class badge. And let's say for example within our inbox we have got 10 hundred items. Let's paste this span element next to the other folders that we have. So for example let's say within our sent folder we have two items. Within span we have three items and within thrash we have five items. Let's save our changes and when we reload this page notice we get the badges as expected and here is the HTML for that. At the moment we're using the badge component with an anchor element. 
the badge component can also be used with other elements such as a button. When used with the button, the badge component has the capability to adapt to the contextual state class being used on that button. Notice here we've got four buttons with four different contextual state classes being applied. And notice the badge component that is used on the button has automatically adapted to the contextual state class being used on that respective button. Let's look at this in action. Let's flip to Visual Studio. I'm going to change the anchor element to a button element. And instead of the href attribute, I'm going to use the class attribute. First, let's use the btn class, which is going to apply the button styles. And let's use the button primary contextual class. Now let's do the same thing with the other anchor elements that we have here. So here, again, we have got buttons, and we're using different contextual state classes, btn warning, success, and info. And for these buttons to be present in the same line, I'm going to remove the HTML break element. Let's save our changes. And when we reload our page, notice we get the buttons and the badges. The badges has adapted to the contextual state class being used on the respective button. Here is the HTML for that. Thank you for listening and have a great day.